Hey, what's up guys? Camp in Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Today we talk about a massive deal that just went down between Sony and Epic Games, owner of Fortnite of course. We've got a bunch of little weapon changes, buffs, nerfs that you, you probably don't know about. Honestly, these ones are small but they're significant. So, and then a bunch of other stuff uh, in between. So stick around for the entire video. You aren't going to want to miss it. Lastly, touch that like button for me. 12,229. Let's stop it right there. Not above, not below. Okay, maybe above would be okay. Thanks for being here. Here we go. First off is from Fire Monkey. Uh, he created a video on how to purchase the exact number of V-Bucks uh, that you want. So basically the reload V-Bucks feature. Uh, early access, how to get it with early access. I'm gonna link the video down below. This only works for PC and for mobile, okay? So if you're on console, there's probably not even a point of going to watch it. Uh, so yeah, you can, you can check this one out uh, near the end of the video if you want, or once you're done with this one, of course. Uh, but I feel like if it's out there, it's early, you might as well take advantage of it if, you, if you'd like to use it. Basically, this means you buy, if you're at 1,400 V-Bucks, you need 1,500 to purchase your, your item set, then you can go purchase exactly 100 instead of bulk buying extra. Uh, so it's a cool new feature, and there's a way to do it early on PC and mobile. Next up here is a free emote. Uh, this is for owners of OnePlus phones. So as of right now, you can go to this link and claim the free Bangra Boogie emote. However, you do need to provide uh, certain numbers that, uh, that trace back to your phone. So you do need to own a OnePlus phone. I believe the OnePlus, you can play uh, mobile games, Fortnite included at 90 frames per second. That's been like their big, uh, their big slogan, their big marketing technique as they've went live with this new phone. Uh, but yeah, that's going on right now. However, just to clarify and uh, I guess let you know early, it appears this does have a chance to come to the item shop at a later date. So, uh, and this is based on a tweet from OnePlus France, translated, a step in the right direction, get the Fortnite Bangra Boogie emote first on OnePlus smartphones. Next up here is a discussion about Ninja. Now, of course, Ninja uh, a couple days ago did his first live stream back after Mixer uh, uh, announced their, their closing. He, he launched his first live stream on YouTube, and uh, I believe he peaked at 167,000 live viewers, which is a, a, an extremely big number. Nothing like he was getting on Mixer. Nothing like he was even getting on Twitch at the, uh, the end of his Twitch days before he moved to Mixer. Of course, he broke those records when he was peaking in, uh, uh, in Fortnite and uh, on Twitch, but that's a huge number. Now... This doesn't mean Ninja is moving to YouTube. This was uh, simply a test stream, okay? Because Slasher says here, Ninja is currently in negotiations with streaming platforms and no exclusive deal has yet been signed, including YouTube. Today's live stream from Ninja is all on his own. Maybe he'll stream on Twitch too. So it, it's weird here for, for me because uh, Ninja may, I don't know if he was just doing it out of, uh, he just wanted to try it. He wanted to get back out there and just who cares about the money, who cares about bargaining power. But in, in another sense, he could have looked at it as, okay, let's go on YouTube and let's prove my numbers. Let's prove I still have an insane live stream audience. And if that was his plan, he did that. 167,000 is an insane, insane concurrent number. However, it could go the uh, it could go the other way because now YouTube could look at that and say, okay, Ninja just got 167,000 viewers on YouTube. Could he do that on Twitch, or did we or do we have the power to to put him there? You know what I mean? Like the the bargaining power uh, spectrum could go either way based on how it's looked at, and also based on how he would do going back to Twitch. Now, uh, I don't think he'll go back to Twitch, though, as well, because remember, Twitch and Ninja ended on a very bad note when, uh, when Ninja decided to, to leave Twitch and go to Mixer. There was some beef there. There were some shady moves by Twitch. And uh, so I, I don't even know if I could see that as a possibility. We'll, uh, we'll find out, I guess. I, I assume he'd come back to YouTube. It's just, is he going to even get paid a hefty amount to come back when 
when YouTube's already proved his numbers or his ninja proved his numbers? I, I kind of want to know your thoughts on this one. Let me know down below in the comment section. Before we go any further, just a reminder to subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on. Hit the bell. One, it just helps a lot with the algorithm, as I always say. Getting there early, giving the video some momentum. It's great. And you, you made it this far. You must enjoy these videos somewhat. So why not subscribe? Don't miss out on all things Fortnite. Moving on here from Slasher. This is uh, another big piece of news today. Epic Games has received a $250 million investment from Sony that gives the company a minority stake. It will aim for a broader collaboration between both companies and will not impact releasing games on other platforms. Fortnite will never die. We love to hear that. Fortnite will never die. <laughs> Good ending to that tweet. So, uh, this is all just great news, honestly, especially with those two things below. More collaboration, and then will not re will not impact releasing games on other platforms. Basically, Sony's not going to make Epic Games games exclusive, right? Uh, which, which is huge. The exclusivity uh, has always been... a. Uh, a weird topic and cross platforms just such a successful thing and sought after thing uh, demand in demand for customers uh, i think it would be silly to try and make I, I mean fortnite exclusive but even other games that epic games releases down the road and of course uh yeah epic games is now partly owned by sony we don't know what that partly is we can actually take a uh, an educated guess on uh, what sony owns though uh within epic games based on uh, in my previous video, not previous, but within the last month, I talked about uh, Epic Games doing a round of funding. So they were about $750 million round of funding, and that funding was valued at about $17 billion, which that's that kind of is how you estimate the value of a company based on what other people are willing to pay for it, right? So $17 billion, if that was their estimated value, and uh, Sony invested $250 million, that's that minority stake would be worth around 1.5%. Uh, so that's just a guess based on some of the news we've heard, but uh, I think it's a pretty good guess. It's a lot of money to pay though for 1.5%. Eh? <laughs> so keep in mind that two, this 250 million could be part of that 750 million that was reported on uh, about a month ago. I think it was like June 6th uh, is when we talked about that. So I don't know. I find this stuff interesting. So hopefully you do too. Uh, I love talking about it. Fire Monkey asked a pretty uh, interesting question here before we go any further. If Fortnite had a gulag, what would they call it? And I, I, I just, there, there's no news about this. There's no uh, files or evidence, but uh, I really want this to come. Fortnite, steal it, man. Steal it from Warzone. I want the gulag. I want it in the game now. I think it's an epic feature. And uh, what would they call it? Let me know in the comment section down below. I thought this was a... Uh, a great question to ask. Moving on here, a bunch of little changes, nerfs, buffs, uh, that came out with the 13.2 update. Now, uh, I, I would have talked about them earlier, but they were just recently found, so July 7th. So I didn't just withhold this info from you, it just came, uh, people found the info uh, a little bit later than when the update actually dropped. So first, compact SMG, first shot accuracy cooldown increased from zero to three, fire rate decreased from 12 to 10, Damage decrease 18 to 17, reload time increased, and then uh, AI. So when AI, AI fire duration, so that's just uh, the buff for, for AIs holding it. So basically the compact SMG had a nerf. Moving on, the shockwave launcher, its reload time was decreased. So a little bit of a buff, 2.7 to 2.55. Uh, we've actually, I never pick it up, but if you haven't been able to tell, all the recent games in the uh, background of the videos have been from Arena. We're just grinding up to champs. I'm having more more fun with this game than I've had in a while. The meta is pretty fun, and then Trios is just my favorite by far. So hopefully you've been enjoying a bit of competitive, but we've been landing Caddy, so we get that Shockwave launcher. I don't usually use it, uh, but if, if you notice, the that's a decent, uh, decent buff, right? The reload time decrease is a big deal. The Flare Gun. Uh, reload time increased from 1.5 to 1.6 and fire rate also increased from 0.39 to 0.56 so we had one buff and one nerf kind of balances out uh, depending on how you look at it the charged shotgun apparently now equ equips a tiny bit slower so this one's a big deal it's not a, a big change it's just the uh, the equip time is a big deal 1.0 to 1.05 you'll probably barely notice it uh, but I believe one other advantage, just a little tip, uh, my teammate told me this, so it's not really corroborated, but uh, he us he's usually right. He's a wood punch. He usually knows all the little details about competitive. 
The charge shotgun is better than the tack shotgun in a lot of ways, including, and I didn't know this, apparently it's quicker to pull out than the tack shotgun is. So if anyone knows stats on that, let me know in the comment section. But that's just another thing. The ability to go from edit to pull out weapon or to switch to the shotgun, that's a big deal, right? It allows you to get off your, your first shot uh, even quicker. The tactical SMG actually got updated. And these values are for the damage that the gun does at max range. Uncommon increase from 7.2 to 8.1. Rare, you can see the increase. Epic increase and legendary. So some big buffs there for max range damage. Um, and the tactile SMG, keep in mind, I think is vaulted right now. But we, we assume this is for the new unvaulted LTM that should be dropping within the next few days as it's one of the confirmed... LTMs returning for this summer sla summer splash mini event that they have going on, right? Uh, so yeah, and then uh, keep in mind too the the mythic weapons that were recently added. That's probably got a lot to do with this uh, with this uh, unvaulting LTM as well. So that's all the little bits of news, things like that. I, I thought there was a lot of good info today, so hopefully you enjoyed that. One last little thing I'm gonna add is a uh, a concept from Reddit that I really enjoyed, and it's Fortnite Superhero Week. A week where all, all Marvel and DC cosmetics come back. Because if you take a look at this, we've got a lot of them now, man. We really do. Uh, and, uh, of course, for this to work, they'd have to have the uh, uh, consent from all the participating companies. Like just Marvel and DC uh, to come back on the same day. I don't know if they'd ever do that or the same week. But uh, everyone agreed with this in the comment section. Just, oh, I'm missing this. I'm missing two of these. I'd love for one more big week where I can kind of collect the entire set. So I don't know. You think that's a good idea? And in the comment section, what are you missing out of all the Marvel and DC cosmetics? I'm missing a few, but I also own a few. I got a lot of the skins because some of these collaborations, I, I think, have produced uh, some of the best skins we've seen in the game. So let me know. That's all I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the video, touch that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel as well. And code the camp and rusher in the item shop. If you're purchasing any skins, take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.